It is indeed my joy to look out and see your faces because I know that, and feel your heart and your energy, because I know that you are a sampling of the women who we fight for, who we join with locking our arms and our aims together with to do the work. And so I'm happy to see my sisters here saying that at this moment, we are not going to run and hide. We're not going to retreat. We're not going to wither. We're going to stand up with steel in our spines, and we're going to do what needs to be done to make sure that we can continue to carry that torch forward. We can continue to lead in the same vein that Dr. Height taught us so well many years ago. We can continue to do that. And you're exactly right when you say, that we are all cousins, exactly right. The only thing that separates us is the ocean and languages, but we are all from the same people. And the sooner that we get that and we live that and the way that you are living that through this organization, the better off we will all be. So I just wanna take this moment to thank each and every one of you for what you're doing. I want to echo Barbara's refrain for membership within this organization because we are stronger together when we act as one. And if there was ever a moment for us to come together and to fight back and to lead in the face of challenges, that moment is now. I support um, the International Black Women's Public Policy Institute because they have created a space for me to actively participate not just in public policy but also to connect with women that are like-minded, um, who have the same mission as myself and who consider themselves global citizens. I think in this season and this time that we live in, it's very, very necessary that we look outside of just ourselves, look outside of just our countries to really Im um, enforce an agenda and work with people who consider people like me and people like you. Bonsoir, my name is Marie-Hélène Toms and I'm from Port-au-Prince, Haiti, uh, now based in New York. And I support the International Black Women's Public Policy Institute because they pour into me as a person, as a leader, as a woman. I appreciate them so much. I became a young ambassador. So, and in doing that, I've met the most amazing women who are transparent, who have shown me how to walk this walk and talk this talk and actually practice what I preach. So I'm just indebted to them. I am so grateful for Miss Barbara Perkins who continues to pour out and pour out and pour out. And I know that when she shows up before God, she will be completely empty. And he's gonna say, well done, good and faithful servant. There's no way. We need you, we want you, we invite you to come in and bring your ideas. Bring your heart, bring your ideas, and I promise you, we together will be proud of the work that black women are doing in the world. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you, I love you. I thank my board of directors. I thank the young ambassadors for being who you are.